So today we are playing a dinosaur survival game that is still in early access, but we're gonna see how it is. I was doing research for another video and then I came across a video of this game and I thought I would try it out because it actually looks kind of interesting. I didn't really look much into it because I didn't want to spoil anything and try it for myself. So this will be my first time playing this game. It is $20 right now in the Steam store, so hopefully it's worth the money. But if it's not worth the money, I will tell you guys because I'm gonna be honest this video. If this game is trash, I'm gonna tell you it's trash. And you guys let me know your opinions in the comments below. So Athos, similar to like Ark in a way, where you play as a human and you could tame dinosaurs, you could build bases and stuff like that. And then we have the box on the left that tells you some of the features that this game has. So it says you can explore the big world with dinosaurs roaming around, uh, player crafting and building, so you can build bases and stuff. You can tame dinosaurs as well. Uh, base combat system, harvesting system, progression system with over a hundred plus engrams to learn, uh, single player, and then server settings and stuff like that. Now, I don't even know if anyone's even playing this game like how many people are on the multiplayer servers uh let's see if we can check here okay apparently they only have one server with two players i mean that's better than nothing so let's just hop on in here now i don't know what to expect okay this screen looks kind of funny i mean my character looks so fake um during the menu it looked like it would be like a realistic looking game but now it looks more cartoonish so we have hair type hair color and skin color you can't change anything else uh let's see if we could change the hair type I always, I always take forever when it comes to creating characters in these type of games, but he doesn't seem to have that many choices. I guess we'll do... I don't even know. We'll just pick this one. Okay, I tried to change the hair color, and now it's bugged. I can't change it back to anything. Uh, let's see the skin color. Oh, same thing. Okay. So this section is kind of glitched as well. You have some spawn regions here. North zone, east zone, south zone, and west. Oh, we gotta name our character first. We're gonna name him Subscribe. Wink, wink. Now, if we spawn in the south zone, we're going to be in an isolated island, which I don't think would help us from the beginning stages. So let's go to east zone, just to hopefully it's a safe area. Now, I don't know how many dinosaurs they have. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know how to tame anything. So this is a whole experience. Now, this video is not going to be that long, but if you guys enjoyed this one and you want me to make more videos on this game, as far as like base building, taming, and stuff like that, then I can do that. But this one, we're just going to get an overview of what this game's like. So far, the map this actually looks really big. Uh, let me see. The running feels kind of smooth. It doesn't feel stuttery or laggy at all. Let's see how the dinosaurs look. Okay, their walking animations are a little weird. Audio's kind of weird, too. <laughs> it's like, they're like robots, bro. They don't even seem like real dinosaurs. They seem like robots. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to comment that this game is basically like an ARK ripoff, where it just seems like a cheaper copy of ARK. And it kind of does. So because I played a lot of ARK, I'm going to treat it as if this is ARK, and I'm going to try to do what I would normally do. So we're going to try to collect these things here. I'm assuming we get berries. Yeah, we get berries and stuff. Okay. Now, I remember an ARK in order to get a... What the hell was that? Okay. I remember an arc. I could try to get wood. Let me see if this works. Okay, we are collecting wood and thatch, which is pretty good. Now, this is the menu here where we can go over our stats, our health, we can see everything. So when it comes to the stats, you have like five different options. You have strength, agility, stamina, intelligence, and luck. Uh, luck affects the chance of critical damage. Okay, that's actually interesting. I could put some points into that. That means you have a chance of doing extra damage to uh, dinos when they're trying to attack you. Uh, we'll put some into strength as well. And then we're definitely going to put some into stamina. I don't know how stamina really works in this game. Intelligence is affects the base damage to ori veins and trees when you're gathering resources. Okay, I mean, I guess I could put two points into that. And then agility. What the fuck? What is up my ass right now? Oh my god. Parasaur. Now, I wonder if it's like Ark where the Parasaur runs away when you hit it. Let me see. Oh no! They actually got balls in this one. Alright, that's the running animation for the Parasaur. Oh, what the hell? Okay, he lost aggro and immediately just walked the other way. I mean, so far when it comes to the dinosaur movement, and dinosaurs in general, they seem very, uh, I don't know the word for it, very cheap. They seem like uh, very poor assets and there's not really, uh, they just need to work on it more. That's all I gotta say. They need to really work on those uh, moving animations and 
attack animations as well. And then when it comes to the Ingram points, it works the same way like an arc where you can unlock stuff to craft. So we're going to do the stone pickaxe, a campfire, and I guess a wooden spear. We might as well. Now it seems like when I use points for the Ingrams, it takes away the points from my availability points. So the available points are used for both your stats and the engrams. So you have to like decide whenever you have points if you want to rank up your stats or if you want to unlock something, which is kind of disappointing. I'm trying to figure out how to craft. Oh, right here. Okay, so we have crafting right here. And then we could do cloth, stone hatchet, torch, and stuff like that. So let's make a stone hatchet. So we need stone and one cloth. Hopefully later on, like towards like when you get more progressed in this game, it differentiates from arc and not just a copy and paste because right now i just see a copy and paste of arc i don't see nothing different but even like the menu wise when it comes to inventory and everything it just feels like arc and i normally hate being the type that compares one game to another but literally it looks copy and paste but i'm gonna still give it a chance we're gonna get to the base building and i want to see how that works oh my god someone's fucking behind me bro what the fuck i'm literally is he friendly I don't know if there's like proximity chat in this game, but hey, I mean, at least I find another player. I thought this shit was going to be dead. I, I'm, I'm happy to see another player here. That's interesting. But now I have to worry about him killing me, which I don't want to deal with right now. Oh, the melee is so slow in this game. God damn. All right, so let's unlock some thatch foundations. We're just going to do thatch right now just because it'll be quicker to actually make. Um, we have a you, you seem to get a lot of points very fast the, like this is official servers by the way This is not like boosted rates. This is what their default rates are and honestly it feels a little bit too fast You know, I like a little bit of a challenge uh, make me grind for it a little bit But I'm feel like I'm in a boosted server right now because I could literally like max out my points in no time And I barely did anything yet uh, So we're just gonna use our points here just random stats no, I will say, when it comes to grinding materials, that seems to take a while. But leveling up seems to be really quick. So we do have some materials here that we can build, so we're going to see how it works. So it pretty much looks like this, and I guess we can place it anywhere. Oh, I could even place it by the water. Okay, nice. Uh, let's place it right there. Alright, so it's fairly simple. Wait, is that an auto snap? Wait, it doesn't connect automatically? I have to, like, manually connect it? Oh, there, wait, you have to, like angle it weird there we go i'm not gonna build anything crazy because this is just testing it out it does seem pretty complicated not complicated but like annoying because i have to like look a certain way for it to connect uh these are thatched by the way so this is how the thatch floors look kind of looks like wood then we're gonna put up some walls here if anyone knows if this game can go in first person let me know because i would prefer first person over third and then, yeah, these are the thatch walls. Now that it's nighttime, we can see how the torch would look. So this is how the torch looks during the nighttime. I mean, uh, it looks kind of so cartoonish. This is the fakest flames I've ever seen in my life. But uh, it's all right. We wouldn't need it for right now because it is getting pretty dark in the game. Okay, so I did craft a bed so we can place that down in case we do die. And in case I make future videos on this, I'll have like a little base set up, I guess. Okay, it's just now getting daytime again, and I want to test out the combat. So we made a wooden spear, and I want to see how like the respawn system works in case we die. And I want to fight a dinosaur I can beat, <laughs> which seems to only be the parasaur because all I see is parasaurs and trikes. So let's... uh. Let's find one. Now, I don't know if you attack one if they all attack you, like an arc, but let's see this one. Stab him up the ass real quick. Okay, maybe we can circle him. Nice! We actually killed him. Alright, so I think we can harvest meat on him while he's dead. I think he's dead. He's not knocked out or anything, right? I'm not getting any meat, though. Oop. Bro, his body just disappeared. I wasn't able to harvest any meat. Do I have to use, like, the pickaxe for that or just the regular axe? So when I look in the engrams right here, there's something called a red berry past. And it says, place this down in front of a certain plant-eating e uh, dinosaur to start taming them. They spelled eating wrong. They put easting. Okay, so I think I need to make one of these things. So I need 15 flint and 3 water skins. And to make water skins, I need hide, which means I need to collect it off the dinosaur. So I gotta kill more dinosaurs to get hide. Alright, well, here goes round two. Let's see how it goes again. We should be able to easily kill him. We're just gonna do what we did last time, just circle him. Oh, he actually hit me. 
Perfect. Strike, mind your business. Uh, now, I don't know. Like, it says I can open his inventory. Oh, here it goes. Why the last one didn't have this? So instead of actually harvesting it yourself, you uh, to collect the hide and the meat out of his inventory. That is kind of weird, and I don't know why they did that. I don't know if they... I don't know. That's weird, bro. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh... Alright, I'm not going to fight a trike yet. Let's just keep killing Parasaurs then. Now, the dinosaurs don't seem to have a level either. Like an arc where dinosaurs have certain levels. And they seem really easy to kill. Oh my god. They should not be this easy to kill. I kind of really want to fight a trike just to see how easy it is to kill it. But I'm going to wait for that just in case I die. Alright, so I finally made the water skins and everything I needed to craft this thing. But apparently I need to fill up the water skins with water. And I need a well to do that. And I can't do it in the regular, like, ocean water. So to make a well, I need wood, stone, and clay. But where the fuck do I get clay? Okay, so to make clay, I need sand and ash. And I did craft it in a motor and pestle. Alright, so I just crafted a motor and pestle. Luckily, I had the materials already needed. So we're just going to place it in the corner here. Then let's interact with it. And, uh, oh wait, this is where we make clay. But we need sand and ash. Honestly, guys, I might have to do the taming in a separate video because it seems like I need ash and I have no idea where to get ash in this game yet. So, like, and I already been recording for an hour trying to make this video. And get it. What the hell? Um, okay. Well, we died. Uh, so you can see our bed option here. Let's just click on that. Hopefully it's not bugged. I might have starved to death. If I did starve to death... There was literally no indication that I was starving, which they need to fix because that's crazy. Uh, luckily, we got all our stuff back. Let's just take it all. Okay, I took all my stuff, but it's not in my inventory. What the hell? No way. Did I just lose all my stuff? Oh, my God. I lost all my items. Unless it's glitched. I don't know. Because it says my weight is 162 out of 540. So that means I have items on me. But maybe can I craft something? No, it's showing I have no items at all. That's so frustrating. Okay, this game is going to take quite a bit of patience and just time to learn everything. So I'm going to see how this video does. And if you guys want to see more videos on this, how to tame stuff, uh, how to build a better base or whatever, I'll be happy to make another video if I see you guys enjoy this one. Um, do I think this game is worth 20 bucks? Hell no. This game should have been free to play for beta testing or early release testing because it is an early release. Keep that in mind. This is an early release game. It's not a finished game. But the fact that an early release game has cost 20 bucks and we're really getting a lot of glitches and bugs and problems, that's an issue. And I spent 20 bucks just to make this video, so hopefully it pays off. But like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see a part 2 to this, uh, also let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up, show some love, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm always looking for new survival or animal survival games to play. If you have any suggestions on games you want me to try out for the video, for the channel, let me know in the comments, and subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Athos on Steam, 20 bucks.